Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly for pricing. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a 2020 limited edition of 25 pieces in steel and titanium. This is the Urwerk UR100 gunmetal, featuring a lovely satellite time display that is effectively digital, and we'll demonstrate how that works in a moment. It uses a Zenith Elite automatic base with Felix Baumgartner's unmatched creative touch for unconventional time-telling and Martin Fry's unique aesthetic sensibilities. This watch has elements of both of their vision. Taking a quick look at the size, the case is 41.1 millimeters from side to side. It measures 13.4 millimeters thick, a great deal of which is actually the sapphire bubble over the satellite display. And then from end to end, the effective lug-to-lug -lug dimension is 49.7 millimeters. The watch wears easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. I think you could wear this watch on a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. It sits fairly low for an Urwerk, especially an automatic winding Urwerk, and you can easily see how a cuff would actually ramp up over the side there. Now, taking a quick look, you can see I have a little bit of uh, clearance on each side, so I would say a 15 centimeter circumference wrist or larger could wear this watch well. We'll take a quick look at the strap. Hardware and software, as I like to say, always custom. Urwerk uses unique sizes, especially since it uses unique screw-fixed systems, as well as a combination of unconventional spring bars and asymmetrical lug junctions. So you have spring bar on this side, you have screws and bars on this side, you have almost full width on this side, and then you actually have a strap that cuts into the notch between the lugs on the opposite. So you will have to get custom straps or order from Urwerk, but it is worth your while. Textile on the top and a lovely traditional additional textile weave. You can see that it is a thickly bolstered or generously stuffed strap. On the underside, we have black calfskin leather, and you can see this is a brand new ungouged, uncrimped Urwerk factory strap with a gusset sewn in to prevent gouging. We have this lovely combination of blackened and matte finished anthracite elements on the pin buckle. It is a quick, easily adjustable pin buckle. I always like to say these are sporty watches, so the pin buckle fits. And taking a quick look, you can see that the crown is almost flush with the case when it's put into its slot, but you can use it to set the watch. And so the way this works, and you can see it is a display inspired by the wandering hours clock compass complication from the late Renaissance. Audemars Piguet revived this in 1991 with the star wheel, and Urwerk from 1997 implemented their own version, which is based not on springs and poles like the AP, but on Maltese cross systems that are much more rugged and durable than what AP was working with. So it's a digital time display, and right now it is 6.30. So you can see I have numeral 6 on its little carousel pointing to 30. Now it's 6.45. And now you can see that the hours rotate up at 12 o'clock. It is 7.15. It's that simple. The watch is also quite well loomed. Taking a quick look at the loom, you can see that there are two different colors here. Uh, the carousel is an absolute riot in the dark, however. Uh, taking a quick look, you can see that there are details on the flank, and they're calibrated in kilometers, and we'll talk about what that means in just a moment, but you can see that the watch is very, very visible at night. Okay, about those little slits and... What we are discussing when we discuss 35,742 kilometers, this is a little window that encompasses 20 minutes of travel by the carousel. So you can see the little index. The index travels across that span in 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, the Earth flying through space will cover 35,742 kilometers. Flip it over to the other side. In 20 minutes, if you were standing on the equator, the Earth will rotate 555.55 kilometers in 20 minutes. So that's what that's all about. And as a big sapphire to help block anything that might hit the case and scratch it. As you can see, it's an imaginative techno-industrial case design. When we flip it over, you can see a winding system for the Elite. The Zenith Elite is a reliable, tough, and thin base on top of which Felix Baumgartner builds his original mechanisms. And here we have what they describe as a Windfanger air screw. And you can see it's quite animated and lively as it operates. 
Uh, it has a 48-hour power reserve. It beats way at 8 beats per second. It pivots on 39 joules, and it is very reliable. Irver calls this the caliber 1201, and all of this is 30 meters water resistant, so splash and rain only. It is a wonderfully exotic case back that is quite entertaining. This timepiece offers a lot, and it offers a lot of heritage, as Irver back in 1997 via Felix Baumgartner, a part of the AHCI Cool Kids Club of independent watchmakers. And at the time, Felix, who much be, must be about six and a half feet tall, but in 1997, he was the youngest ever member of the AHCI, and he continues to innovate in his emblematic style to this very day. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of the UR100 gunmetal.